Oakland Roots star Max Ornstill has always had a passion for the game of soccer. But when it came to expanding that passion to the youth, he knew he had to take a different approach. Joining us now in studio is Max Ornstill. Max, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here. Super excited. Now, first and foremost, a professional soccer player, you were born and raised out in Oakland, and you've made it, made your way back home, now playing for the Oakland Roots. What's that like for you to be able to play for your home hometown team? It's, it's honestly hard to describe, really. I mean, I grew up here and there was no pro soccer, so it's not like I had this to look forward to. And so I was already playing professionally when they announced the team, and right when they announced it in the back of my head was like, oh, I got to somehow end up at this team. And so for it to happen so quickly, um, I was not expecting, but really it's a dream come true to play in the city that you are from and grew up in. And what kind of love have you received from the community who you know so well being yeah. from Oakland? It, it's special, really. I think one of the reasons why you know, we're talking about this business is because this community is special. And so you know, playing here is no different than growing up here. Um, they treat you like family, and uh, it's really just been cool to be a part of that community and to see the fans, you know, from a team that started a few years ago now has one of the most loyal, not one of the most, the most loyal yeah. fan bases in the country, and it's just cool to be a part of it. Well, speaking of community, you are giving back to the community through a program called Neighborhood Sports Club. Now, let's let's first talk about what that is yeah. and maybe how your professional career ties into it. Yeah. So, you know, Neighborhood Sports Club started actually a couple years ago. Uh, my two partners, shout out Dylan and Jordan, they're not here, but they're playing abroad in Europe. And just playing in Europe, they noticed that every neighborhood has a soccer pitch. And the community gathers around this field. And it's really just where the community comes together, has fun, watches games, plays games, has coffee, hangs out. And then my partner came back and played for the Oakland Roots the inaugural year. And it's like, oh my god, this community is exploding. People love mm -hmm. soccer. The fans are crazy. But other than Roots games, there's really nowhere else to enjoy this community. And so, you know, they started the idea of Neighborhood Sports Club. Once I signed with the Roots, they brought me on shortly thereafter. And our vision is to bring the community together and create a space that we never had growing up to essentially be the hub for soccer culture and community in Oakland and the East Bay. And it is a process to get it going, but we are working really hard to make it happen. I can only imagine how much hard work it puts into developing something like that from the yeah. ground up. But like you said, it was a void that you are now filling because that was missing, yeah. especially out in the East Bay where you're from. Now, what programs do you offer or what steps do you take to get involved in the community through Neighborhood Sports Club? Yeah, so we have, you know, very lofty goals. Our goals are to open up an indoor soccer facility with a cafe bar and retail space in the near future. Sounds but, nice. But, you know, this is not breaking news. We are on the news, but this is not breaking news. Real estate in Oakland and the Bay Area is yeah. both hard to find and not cheap. And mm -hmm. so we are on this search for a long-term space, but in the meantime, we're hosting pop-ups where essentially we can bring the community together, provide free street soccer, uh, food, music, drinks, you know, everything that we would provide in our permanent space, uh, kind of in a pop-up style. And so we've had four pop-ups now. Uh, most recently, we were just at Oakland First Fridays. We're planning some really exciting ones coming up. So essentially, we are bringing what we would be doing in a permanent space pop-up style to Oakland and the East Bay uh, to kind of grow the community, grow the brand, and kind of show people what we are about and what we're building. And what have people been able to see or experience through these pop-ups? Yeah, it's, it's really been awesome, to be honest, to see this community grow. We had our first one a couple months ago, and uh, our t-shirts sold out in an hour. And so we're like, wow, you know, people like our merchandise, but the crowd wasn't that big, but it was still like really, you know, gratifying to see that many people come out and then we have our second third and fourth and it's kind of snowballed you know friends tell their friends and like i said there's free street soccer you know we have a taco truck we have food vendors we have a dj we have the retail experience um it's really just a fun time for everyone you know kids come adults come everyone's playing a competitive game games for fun uh it's essentially just trying to get the community out, doing something positive, and creating a space for us all to enjoy this culture that is surrounding the beautiful game, because it really is the global game. Yeah, and what does it mean to you specifically to be able to see this youth come together just in the name of soccer, and to be able to interact with you, other players, but come together as a community? Yeah, I mean, it, it's really a privilege. Like, playing for the Roots has really opened up to my eyes of like, 
when kids come to games, I feel like I have a responsibility to kind of show them like, hey, I was you one day, mm -hmm. you know, and now I get to play at the professional level. And so opening up this business is a way that we can continue to do that and show kids in Oakland, kids in the East Bay, that there are opportunities in soccer and there is a place where you can come and embrace this beautiful game because there's so much other than playing that goes into this game, whether it's, you know, fashion or the food or the music or just, you know, the culture and community that surround it. We want to create a place for that um, to be fostered. And through doing that, creating this program, Neighborhood Sports Club, what has it done for you as a professional, whether that be mindset-wise or maybe just a different approach? What has Neighborhood Sports Club done for you as a pro? That's a great question. I think, honestly, it's, it's made me look inward a lot with the way I see soccer. Um, you know, obviously, I fell in love with the game at six, seven years old, and I played it my whole life. But once you become a pro, uh, it's a business, you know, you're doing it for a job. And trust me, I love doing it for a job. I show up at the facility and I'm like, wow, this is my job, this is great. But then once we're now doing it for a business, it's kind of gone back to that doing it for fun again and really mm -hmm. falling in love with, you know, seeing why I fell in love with the game, you know? And so it's really been able to look at the game in a different way other than playing as a pro, but trying to, you know, create opportunity and access for the youth um, and the underserved. It really just makes me realize why I fell in love with the game in the first place. So it's really cool. It's so awesome. So awesome to hear that. It's also doing something for you too as a pro. Now, Max, what are some upcoming events people can look forward to? Maybe some more pop-ups? Yes, definitely some more pop-ups. Uh, we actually have a meeting after we get off air to confirm a venue, but we have a really exciting four-day pop-up in collaboration with this brand called Saturday's Football, one of the biggest uh, sellers of vintage kits in the world. World, um, and we're going to be putting on a four-day pop-up location to be determined or confirmed today, hopefully. Um, and that'll be all announced on our social at Neighborhood Sports Club. But we'll look to have an art gallery. We'll look to have a panel. Uh, we'll look to have a street soccer tournament. Uh, really essentially bringing all these things into one space uh, for the community to come together and enjoy everything that the beautiful game has to offer. Incredible. So a lot, it sounds like a lot to look forward to in yes. these pop-ups yes. for the community. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Max, for joining us here of course. on Live in the Bay. We appreciate it. Thank you. To learn more about Neighborhood Sports Club, visit our website at liveinthebay.tv.